Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at practical applications of impulse. So let's get started. We're going to look at two uses of impulse in everyday life, so that is airbags and crumple zones. But it should be noted that seat belts act in a similar way to these two safety features. So the first one is airbags, and it says here that airbags are found in the steering wheel and in front of the passenger seat in a vehicle. They rapidly inflate, then quickly deflate when a vehicle experiences a sudden impact or rapid deceleration. They work by increasing the time taken for a person's head to decelerate to rest on impact with the steering wheel, thereby reducing the average force exerted on the person's head, and therefore decreasing the chance of injury as a result. So if you're asked how the airbags work, you need to make sure that you're hitting these two points in bold. The fact that the airbag is increasing the time taken for the head to come to rest, and because the time of contact is increased, then the average force must be decreased. And I'll just show you a quick animation to visualise this. So here we've got a crash test dummy and to begin with, we're going to assume no seatbelts and no airbag. So if I click play there, so what's going to happen there without an airbag is that your head will strike the dashboard in front of you over a short time and that means that your average force is going to be very high. But what you can do instead is you can introduce an airbag. So introducing an airbag this time, if we play the animation, Obviously, we're still dealing with time in milliseconds here, so you're not going to notice it by looking at it, but it's going to take slightly longer for the head to come to rest because of the airbag in the way. And that soft pillow-like substance, the big bag of air, is going to increase the time of contact over which the force acts, and that's going to decrease the overall average force. And that's likely going to cause less injury and save your life. The last example to look at is crumple zones, and crumple zones act in a very similar way to airbags. So crumple zones are found at the front and back of a vehicle. So there's our front crumple zone and there's our rear crumple zone. You'll see the front crumple zone in this example has done its job. They are designed to crush in a controlled way during a collision. Similar to airbags, they work by increasing the time taken for the vehicle to decelerate to rest on impact, thereby reducing the average force exerted on the passengers and therefore decreasing the chance of injury. So again, we've got this idea of what's happening to the time and what's happening to the average force. So crumple zones increase the time taken for the vehicle to come to rest, and this reduces the average force acting on the passengers. So again, if you're asked about crumple zones, then you need to mention the time and the force. And this picture quite nicely shows you how all three safety features work together. So you've got the seatbelt there, you've got the airbag, and then you've got the front and rear crumple zones. So all of these three things are going to try and maximise your chances of survival in a car crash. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.